Today I'm taking a look at the V4 lab scale. So we got our instructions. We got our power supply. It says that's good for 1 or 240 volts, so it's good for international or domestic. It outputs 0.5 amps at 12 volts. We've got a calibrating weight. This is a large one. This is 500 grams. Very nice that they included this. We got our top plate. Looks like we got our hardware sitting in here as well. So you got four bolts and an Allen wrench. And here is our scale. It looks like we can use a battery with that, or we can plug the power supply directly into the back. I also like seeing that we actually have a spear level on here to make sure that we are perfectly level. So this is going to face up. It even says right here, need to face up. And it looks like we only really need two of these four screws. So it's nice that we got extras. So the bubble level on the back does look like that is straight. So let's turn it on. Oh, that's nice. It actually has a backlit display. Okay, so it does automatically calibrate itself. Now I want to avoid getting the oils from my fingers on here, so I'm going to use a rag. You can also just use gloves. 500, wow, 500 even. So right out of the box, that comes perfectly calibrated. So we have grams, count, ounces, troy ounces, pounds, troys, penny weight, kilograms, drams, I believe that's tails T, grain, newtons, percent, and back to grams. So quite a few different options of measurement. So I was reading a little bit of a ghost weight on there, but we can see that is still super accurate. Cool. So let's try the count. So we're going to hit pieces and it's going to ask for 10. Now if we want to change that, we can do 20, 50, 100, 200, 500, or back to 10. So that way if we're doing like sand or something, we have 500 pieces of sand and just load all those on there. Right now I got 10 nuts. I've got away from me. There we go. Okay, and it says we got 10. So now if I add two more on, it tells me we got 12. So if I got a whole mess of these things and I don't want to actually count them out, I can just throw them on there and it'll tell me exactly how many I got. So that is a very cool function. Now let's say this was glue or something that got stuck onto there. I don't want to have to like scrape it off or anything like that. I would just want to weigh this thing on there. I'm just going to hit tear. Then I'll zero it out. I'm going to go back to grams. We'll just set this on top. Let's pull this off. And we are back to zero. So that way we can easily get back to zero no matter what happens to the scale. So then if we want to calibrate, I'll zero that again. We'll hit cal. And we'll put our weight on there. There we go. Now we know we are calibrated for this weight. We'll take that off. And we know that we are properly calibrated. It's like it's not moving anymore either, so it's probably a good idea that we did that. Very nice that they actually included a proper weight for this scale. So yeah, overall, that is a very nice lab scale.